Hey there guys, we're at South Coast Welding Academy in Houston, Texas, who so are on the set of weld tube. Today's video, we're going to be doing uh, walking the cup with a metronome, and the reason why we're going to be doing that is just showing a different ripple definition, uh, tight ripples, uh, really spaced out, really nice ripples. But the reason why we're using a metronome is to, to get um, more control, more precise ripple definition, and also show the viewer uh, at home, you know, for practice purposes. So we'll be doing it on pipe welding. Uh, Clay here, Clay here is going to be running the metronome. So what I'll be doing is I'll be I'll be walking the cup, and he'll say like 200 uh, uh, beats per minute. So I'll be going at, you know, every time it goes click 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 click. You know, I'd be on that side, so I'll be going 200 beats per minute, and then Clay will say uh, 120. So now I got to slow down uh, to 120 beats per minute. So it'll it'll be calling out different numbers. I'll have to slow down or speed up. Also, when I slow down, uh, I'll be at 220 amps on the machine. But when I slow down, that's when I, when I get different movements in my arm here. So usually when I walk the cup, usually it's wrist movement for the pivot for the direction. So you're pivoting for the direction. And then arm comes away and out into the body for the, the roll. So a pivot, roll, pivot, roll, pivot, roll. So I could use that more so at 220 amps to compensate, kind of slow me down a little bit for the lower beats per minute. And then when I go to fast, you know, 200, 200 beats per minute, then that's when everything tightens up and it's like roll, 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 you know? So this, is, this video is going to show the viewer, uh, you know, when a person wants to be more consistent for their own personal, uh, you know, uh, cap passes. Uh, if they want to be the guy that their pipe is shown in, you know, put in a glass case as this is the weld, this is how I want the welds to look at. Or else if you're on a job where a, a welder is starting and, and the owner comes up and says, hey, in order to work here, your, your weld has to look like this, you know. So using a metronome is going to make you like really deadly, really nice. Starting at a hundred beats per minute. Jump up to one forty. One sixty beats per minute. You gotta bump those numbers up, Clay. Those are rookie numbers. Turn it up. <laughs> We're at one ninety. Now we're getting up to the tight ripple definition for the cats. So this section here is 100 beats per minute. You can see the ripple definition. As we go, Clay, what would be this speed right here? I think we, the next BPM was 140. I had to go back in the, uh, but as you can notice, uh, same 220 amps, but it changes, everything tightens up. Still playing with 220 amps. And I think probably around here, uh, it probably increases, doesn't it? Yep. So the ripples are much finer, finer ripple definition. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to do something a little bit differently. Uh, we kind of did this one from the hip there. Uh, Clay would call out numbers and I'd speed up. Um, so what we did is we marked it out here. You know, we'll go from like 60, 120, 40, 200, like extremes. So that the viewer can see like uh, if I'm at like 200 or 220 beats per minute that I'm, I'm going really, really quickly and my ripple definition just really tightens up. And then if I go to say 60, then that's when my, my ripple definition is like a lot, not a lot wider and bigger and bigger steps. But what's happening is because the machine is set to a strict 220 amps, when I get to say 200, uh, you know, 200 beats per minute, then that's when it's like, it's just very minimal movement in my arm and wrist and everything. It's just, just to go click, 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 you know, just to get on that side there. And when I go to 60 beats per minute, I got to slow myself down, you know, click, 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 and that's when you see my arm and my wrist really going into it. So basically like slow down, the wrist does a pivot, arm, elbow comes away from the body, wrist does a turn, elbow comes into the body, wrist comes into the body, elbow comes away from the body. So it's really dramatic. 
just to slow myself down, even though I'm playing at 220 amps and uh, you know 60 beats per minute. So then I'll speed up and also I'll just go really tight and it's more of like a roll, roll, roll. For the fast 200, it's more of a, like a roll. And then when I get to 60, then that's when it's a pivot and a step and maybe even a wash, like a splash over. So that's basically what we're gonna be doing here. Okay, what's the next number? 100. Go with the next number. 250. Hey, uh, what's the next number? 90. 90. Hey, what's next? Sixty. And I think we're back. All right, now Clay and I, we kind of figured out a better game plan of how we were going to approach the numbers of beats per minute for this uh, to get different uh, ripple definition. But uh, this section here is 120 beats per minute. You have to remember that the whole entirety of this weld was 220 amps. And I'm only restricted within a certain width that I can weave. So, you know, wider, wider distances, also different welding currents, I can achieve different results. But this is just certain variables. The only variable that changes is just the beats per minute. So I have 120 beats per minute here. Uh, fairly tight ripples, not too, too bad. Uh, 40, we tried 40 beats per minute. 40 was just too slow. If we had a wider distance, we could have had, we could have made 40 beats per minute, but just in the width we were weaving, too slow. So uh, Clay bumped it up to about 200 beats per minute. Uh, really tightened up that, uh, that weave. So that's why how we get a really, really tight weave here is 200 beats per minute on the metronome. Next, we went up to 100 beats per minute, a little bit, uh, a little bit wider weaves, bigger steps, which is pretty nice. So we went to 100 beats per minute, and also the travel speed uh, sped up a little bit, a little bit more arm movements. Then we went to really tight ripple definition, about 250 beats per minute. 
So really, really tight weaves, especially over the 200 beats per minute. So these are really, really tight weaves. Then we went up to, uh, uh, down to about 90 beats per minute. So we got a little bit of play in the ripple definition here. So a little bit wider ripples, a little bit bigger steps. Uh, overall, I think 90 was kind of a, a nice ripple definition for a, for a weld. So this is 90 beats per minute. And then we went up to 180 beats per minute. It wasn't as uh, uh, defined as 250 or 200, but 180 is a pretty nice number. This is 180 beats per minute. Then we dropped down to 60 beats per minute. A little bit faster than the 40, but 60 was, was good. I had to use a lot of arm movements to try and slow myself down from when it, when it clicks and moves over to the next one. A lot of arm movements. 60 beats per minute was pretty good. And this is where I just broke the arc. So overall, it was kind of, this shows you different um, beats per minute, how the weld appearance ripple definition comes out. The metronome is more for if you want to be very, very particular. And usually, say I work for, for example, for myself, I'll be doing like a 30 inch stainless skid 80 and I'm there all day. And by the time I get to the cap pass, and the cap pass is what you want to make the most prettiest because the owner looks at it, the client looks at it, all the other welders, they look at it. And you know, that's what you want, your defining moment. That's how other people remember you as, is you know, your quality of the weld. And, and uh, sometimes when you're doing like a large pipe, you could either listen to music, but you know, the music changes unless you're listening to Stairway with Heaven, which is like a 17 minute song. Um, you know, but uh, you get tired, you get bored, you're falling asleep and like the metronome is the only thing that can, can keep you consistent and your, your well comes out consistently. So you could either listen to music or count in your head, but you kind of, you know, you're, you're, you kind of get bored, you change techniques midway and everything. But um, Hopefully you guys like this video for uh, using the metronome and being very precise and particular about the uh, ripple definition. And, and um, you can also get, you can try do different things, different beats per minute to get different ripple uh, definitions to change the appearance of your weld. So uh, you can follow uh, South Coast Weld, weld Academy on Instagram and WeldTube on, uh, on their Instagram channel and their YouTube channel. Thank you.